outside. Uh, I proved the simple fact that the nature of God and the nature of Jesus are not only different, they're contradictory. When Jesus heard about crucifixion, and this is the lead up to where I'm going to break it all down for you, and this is where I kind of, you know, set up the, 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 the stage when I do my doubt towards Christians, and then I let the, you know, as they say, the curtain fall. When Jesus was told that he was going to be crucified, and they were going to try to crucify him, he was not happy, as you would thought he would be. He was not ready. He was not willing. His initial response was to run to the Garden of Gethsemane, which is not in the middle of Jerusalem. The Garden of Gethsemane is way on the outskirts. And what did he do? He went there and he told his disciples, watch the gate. Watch the door. Why? So that no one can come and get me. Because he had something to do. And this is how I end it because this ties a lot of things together actually. For the less, let whatever is your will, that I will do. He said, I don't want to be crucified, but if that's your will for me to be crucified, then that's what I will do. I'm submissive to Allah because as we know, Qadrullahi wa ma sha afala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Qadr of Allah, He does what He wills. And this is also a critical understanding for me as a Muslim. Because we know that the prophets that made dua, when their duas were sincere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to them. And we also know from the teachings of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that every prophet was given a f one free ticket by Allah. Every prophet was given a dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would answer. Yes or no? All of them had that one free ticket. And our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and every one of them before me used it in their lifetime. They all used it. So this very well could have been Jesus' golden ticket at this moment. He knew that he had this du'a with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now's the time to use it. He really needs it. And we do know that as a Muslim, Allah answered that du'a. And this is also the reason why we love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so much. And, the, and I cannot end without talking about our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I will feel like I've, I've wasted time. Because our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that every prophet used it in their lifetime, except for me. I have saved mine for you on the day of judgment. This is why we love our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so much. Is that all of the stuff that he went through. He could have used this dua in many times and many situations, but he held on to it and saved it just for the simple fact that he knew that we as his ummah would need it. And that is the day when our Rasul sallallahu will approach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prostrate to him and begin to cry and beg Allah, my ummah, my ummah, please forgive them. And Allah will answer this dua and forgive this ummah just because of the selfless sacrifice of our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on our behalf. This is why every single time we think of him or mention his name, we must 